Hey everyone, Neil Belchanko here with bikepacking.com and today, well, Garmin just released their 2024 SOS data. So in this video, I'm gonna share that data, unpack the trends and compare the data with past years. All right, let's do it. So before we dive into these stats, I do want to take a quick moment to let you all know that this video is partially supported by Koros, the brand behind the Koros Dura Solar GPS Bike Computer. So the Dura is a head unit that you may have seen in some of our videos, and well, for good reason. It offers an impressive 120 hours of battery life on a single charge. In fact, I only had to charge mine once over a six month period. If that wasn't enough, it features highly efficient solar panels on top, which make a noticeable difference in sunny conditions. With simple controls and intuitive navigation, it is perfect for bike packing or day rides of any length. So to learn a little bit more about this bikepacking.com award-winning head unit, click on the card in the top right corner, or you can also find a link in the description below. So if you missed my recent video on satellite messengers and how the iPhone is kind of shaking up the market. <laughs> you can find that in the description below. It is clear that plenty of folks like the new iPhone feature, but many still feel more comfortable having a separate device or at least two devices able to send an SOS notification. And that actually makes a lot of sense. But anyways, you can find that in the description below. But since 2011, Garmin InReach satellite technology, which they use the Iridium satellite, uh, technology has helped people reach loved ones and in the worst case scenario, emergency services. So each year Garmin shares its SOS data, which is actually great because, well, accidents happen and understanding worst case scenarios really help everyone prepare a little bit better. So while Garmin didn't mention the total number of SOS calls in 2023, back in 2022, they reported over 10,000. So in 2024, that number jumped big time. Garmin received 15,000 SOS calls last year. Now, let's unpack that a little bit more here. So maybe fewer people were getting outside after or during the post-pandemic outdoor boom of 2022-ish. But 2024 also saw some pretty extreme natural disasters, wildfires, hurricanes, flooding. It also is interesting because more satellite messengers have hit the market. And well, the iPhone SOS feature has been around since November of 2022, whether you knew it or not. Of course, not on all phones, iPhone 14 or greater. Uh, but it was available in the US and Canada. So either more folks are triggering SOS or there is no effect the iPhone has on Garmin units. Either way, it's certainly interesting to see more SOS notifications go up. So looking at Garmin's map, inReach users across six continents and three oceans triggered SOS calls in 2024. Most were concentrated in the western part of North America, which makes a lot of sense as cell coverage in those areas are spotty at best. So western provinces of Canada and western and the western United States certainly has that higher concentration. Garmin did note that in-reach devices were used during hurricanes and flash floods. However, they didn't say whether there was a specific increase in those related SOS calls, but with 5,000 more calls than they did in 2022, you'd also assume that, well, maybe it is because of those natural disasters, especially with Helene and, well, how long folks were out of cell service in that area. However, Garmin did confirm that fire-related SOS responses were up 25% from 2023. So what were people doing when they triggered SOS? So this breakdown certainly gives good insights. So around a third of all SOS calls came from people hiking or backpacking. Certainly not surprising at all. These activities often take people into say remote areas with no reliable cell coverage, and of course they are very popular activities. So the next biggest chunk is driving or motorcycling, which saw the biggest increase from 2022 to 2023, and it remained high in 2024. After that, we've got climbing, camping, hunting, 
boating, and snow-related activities. Cycling and mountain biking were way down the list, but Garmin did mention an uptick in incidents uh, related to dirt biking, rafting, mountain biking, and camping. All right, so why people triggered SOS? So this is a pretty straightforward graph here. So the leading cause was injury, and that's pretty obvious, uh, followed by vehicle issues, then medical problems, being stranded, and then getting stuck. Garmin did point out that calls related to medical issues, uh, wildfires, hurricanes, and wildlife encounters, including encounters with bears and rattlesnakes, did increase over 2023. All right, so who actually called for SOS? So this graph is always interesting. So most people triggered SOS for themselves, but a large chunk, almost half, were calling for someone else, whether it was a party member or a third party. So this just reinforces how important it is to, well, adventure with partners. Now, I know a lot of us like to solo adventure, and that's fine, but you definitely are taking a greater risk when going out alone. All right, so who responds to these SOS calls? So no surprise here, helicopters were the most common response, which makes sense for backcountry rescues or travel. Uh, obviously, ambulances were the next, followed by self-rescue, believe it or not. And then the biggest increase Garmin noted was fire response, which lines up with the increase in wildfire-related SOS calls. So this is always interesting, but I definitely want to thank our first responders because, well, without them, we might be in a really tough situation with many of these SOS calls. So that is the key information from Garmin's 2024 SOS data. Uh, big thanks to them for sharing this. It's always super useful to see. And let me know in the comments if anything stood out to you. And will we see more phones and other satellite messengers taking a chunk of these SOS calls? Either way, it's really great that Garmin does share this data because knowledge is power. So be wise, make good decisions, and well, keep getting after it. So as always, thank you all so much for watching. If you like what you saw in this video and want to see more like it, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And if you want to help support everything we do on this YouTube channel on bikepacking.com, you can do so by joining the Bikepacking Collective. The Collective offers a lot of awesome perks, including industry discounts, monthly giveaways, and the twice yearly Bikepacking Journal. So to learn a little bit more about the Bikepacking Collective, you can click on the card in the top right corner here, or also follow the link in the description below. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, pedal further. Thank you.